In this video, we'll write the equation for Al2SO43 plus H2O, aluminum sulfate plus water. So aluminum, that's a metal, and then SO4, the sulfate ion, that's a polyatomic ion. It's made up of nonmetals. When we have a metal in a group of nonmetals, it's an ionic compound, and often they're soluble in water. But we should check a solubility table just to be sure. So here's our solubility table, and we'll go down. These are the positive ions, and the plus 3, here's aluminum, Al plus 3, and we're going to go across to where it meets the sulfate. So we go across, sulfate's way over here, and there's SO4, 2 minus, the sulfate. So we have aluminum sulfate, which has an S. That means it's soluble in water. It's going to dissolve. So let's go back and write the equation. We put solid aluminum sulfate in liquid water, and it dissolves. It breaks apart into its ions. So we'll have that Al3+, plus, and we'll have the sulfate ion. Since we have two aluminums here in the aluminum sulfate, we need to write a coefficient of 2 in front of the Al3+. Plus. We also have three of these sulfate ions, so we need a coefficient of 3 there as well. Next, because we put the solid in the liquid and it dissolved, we need to write AQ after each of the ions. AQ means dissolved in water, aqueous. Since we've written aqueous here, we don't have to write H2O on this side of the equation. It's implied by having the AQ, which means dissolved in water. That makes this the equation for Al2SO4-3 plus H2O, aluminum sulfate plus water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.